Morning, guys. You know, yesterday I talked about the fact, <clears throat> excuse me, yesterday I talked about the fact that healing is a process. And I think sometimes we talk about it like it's a noun. And even in the um, audio that I shared yesterday, I talked about it as a noun. <laughs> But it is a process. And one thing that stuck out at me from yesterday was where I said that it's a process that the whole, that is the Holy Spirit's domain. And that is so true. Um, I think that's even more important to focus on than just focusing on uh, healing is a flesh term. Uh, the importance behind that is that healing is a process that is the Holy Spirit's domain because he knows how to enlighten each and every one of us. And that process is that he enlightens us so that we can agree with what he says so that we can agree with what the word says that is the wonderfulness of it um that is the part that is happening behind the scenes he's working in us in ways that that we know not, but we know that the Father never never sleeps or slumbers. He's always on the job, so he's always working in us to enlighten us, to get us to agree with what he says. So that that is actually the healing process. That's the biggest part of the healing process is the... Uh, moving us around so that we, in our hearts, so that we can agree with what the Word says because it is true, it never changes. We don't want to agree with circumstances that change sometimes from minute to minute. We want to agree with the truth that never changes. And that's the Holy Spirit's job. So if we rely on Him working in us, on him birthing that truth in us, then that's the effortless part of it. And I have some uh, audios that speak to the effortless transformation. So he transforms our heart so that we can agree with what the word says. And it's really an amazing thing because it's all the difference in the world. You can give lip service to anything. And many times we do, and there's nothing wrong with that. Better you should give lip service to the truth than lip service to something that's not the truth. And as you do, just because you know in your head that it is true, and you spend time in the Word, well, then the Holy Spirit has something to work with. He takes that seed that may not be very, may not be very big. It may be mustard seed. But He takes that seed that you've given lip service to, and you only, it's only in your head at this point. Well, he knows where your dark spots are in your mind. So he knows how to take that little mustard seed and make it something big. <clears throat> and so as you continue to listen to the truth, the truth is birthed in you. And then when it's birthed in you, it's real because it comes from your heart. Because whatever is in our heart, we think is real. And we're going to operate from our heart. No matter what is in there, we're going to operate from our heart. So, he makes his truth 
real to us and it's all the difference in the world I'll give you an example there is a uh, a word game that I like to play and all the uh, letters are scrambled on a matrix and you look at it and you and you, it's hard to see where any of the words are especially the more complicated it gets it's hard to see where any of the words are but many times uh, I would be a little frustrated because I'd be trying to find the word and then all of a sudden I see it it was there all the time but I didn't see it before what's the difference I don't know it's just that I didn't see it before and now I see it well that's the way it is with the Holy Spirit working in our hearts one day uh, a concept from the word might be a, just a fed thing and we know there's no life in that in the head game but the Holy Spirit is working with the dark spots in our mind to enlighten us to the truth of it and the thing about truth is that he that it's alive the word says uh, my words are spirit and they are life they're alive because they're true and so uh, the Holy Spirit works in our hearts to enliven and enlighten the word in there and as soon as it becomes alive we know it it's like an epiphany of uh, things that before we operated from head knowledge all of a sudden it, it becomes alive in us so yes healing is a flesh term but more important than that is that to know that the Holy Spirit is working in us to enlighten us to the truth of the word and that the effortlessness of that the trusting of that trusting him to do that in us is actually what frees us from the process when we give him the reins to the process when we trust him to execute the process then we are no longer um, we are free from focusing on the process we are free from focusing on the circumstances I just love that I just love how the father never gives up on us that he loves us so much and he wants us to know how much we are loved and how much he has done for us through Jesus Christ that is what frees us from the process that is what makes what gives the word more weight in our lives than circumstances he's just so good and he's just so loving and we are so privileged to be his children so that is what I wanted to share with you today and I hope that's a blessing to you as it is to me talk to you later bye